leave you in town. We're in Harlem now, so you got to get down. <laughs> I got to do it in a way that's nice. I don't want to walk out of here with ice. I'm a brilliant man when I'm in town. You and me, Biz, gonna get it down. That's right, y'all. <laughs> Tonight, I think we've done the impossible. Now, we have the leaders of an organization called the White Aryan Resistance Movement with us tonight here at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. <laughs> well, if I didn't think these guys were nuts before, I'm absolutely sure of it now. They claim that the strides made by blacks and other minorities have all been made at the expense of the white man. Now, fellas, here's your chance to convince the good folks in Harlem that they've been screwing you. Good luck, guys. Come on, let's go. Let me introduce you first, if you don't mind, to the two guests we have with us on home base tonight. Tom Metzger, director of the White Aryan Resistance, which stands for war. And I'm not going to designate this man as a black activist. He is an American activist. Stonewall Odom. Tom. Let me start out with you, pal. One of your many bizarre themes, all right, and theories is that whites built this nation and that progress made by minorities is robbing whites of what they claim is justly theirs. You don't really believe that, do you? I believe that we're in a white civil war in this country. Our main problem is with white people who are damn, too damn dumb to fight for what's theirs. Our first fight is not really with black people at all. It's with the white power structure in this country and the Jews that have betrayed us all. He's in Harlem. He skirted the issue of Harlem and got to a synagogue. Ain't no synagogues around here, man. Ain't no synagogues around here. Blacks have, blacks have their issues. Whites have theirs. The black struggle. I would say basically, black, sir, you the are black kicking. The black struggle is a black struggle. The black struggle is a black struggle. The white worker struggle is a white worker struggle. They're two separate movements. Now, Evan, let me ask Stonewall. Stonewall, do you think America needs an organization, uh, let's make it this way, devoted to the advancing the cause of white people? No, I don't. We live in a multiracial society. How we live in a plural society. So the black struggle is a white struggle, and the white struggle is a black struggle. And people... <laughs> and, and people with philosophies such as this gentleman should go back to the rock that he crawled from under. suck up to the man if you want to suck up to the man that's a great philosophy it hasn't done too much for you so far and i don't think it's going to help the black I race i don't need anyone future. sucking up to me yeah. pal and the only thing you Apparently, apparently what Tom thinks, and I don't want to put words in his mouth, but apparently you think that all great achievements came only from white people. Do you mean to tell me that blacks have contributed absolutely nothing of to human not. development? Of course not. Of course blacks have contributed some things, but I'm interested what in the future of white. I'm sure you I think... Know. Through yet another 20...
Why Make should we, why should we have to keep ours. track? Why should we have to keep track of what a white man, black man, brown man, red man, yellow man did? We're two why isn't it the races. human race? We're two and we're one race, races. baby. It's the human race. We're on race. a different trip, man. We're on a different trip. You believe that we are on a different trip in America. I mean, you eat potato Don't chips. Don't you see that? You eat potato Don't chips, you right? See that? Do you eat potato no, chips? No, it's junk food. Okay, well, whites eat potato chips. The blacks invented the potato chips. Poor so me. now we, we're all on that. We're all. We're gonna on, hear about peanut butter too. You'll hear about that and cotton also. Okay. We're all on the same. We all. We you all. You invented cotton. No, we are all Americans here. We all have one issue here to make this country no, of ours great. No, they it so you could you're, shove it up your butt. You're not making butt. it great. People. The current of society that's used by the white power structure, the elitist bastards that have sold out us long ago, and they're selling you out, and you're going along with that trip just like him. Oh, yeah? Why can't... You know what the problem is? You know why we hate the white power trip and the black power trip? Because we're not in it as leaders. Are you kidding? We want to take it over. What are you so talking about? Everyone runs this it whole down. media not thing is a white... That's like a white you. power trip to hold... Wait a what, is, what do you suggest? What do you suggest we do in, in this country? What, what do you suggest we do uh, with the Jews, exactly the blacks, the Hispanics? Exactly what black separatists have been doing and white separatists are doing. Fighting for our individual futures and making plans and having discussions that might ha make some sense in this country. Well, let me ask you both. Integration isn't making sense. Let, let me ask you both, Tom Stonewall. Should we be spending any time on who built America and who didn't build America, or shouldn't we all be working together for everyone's mutual advancement? And incidentally, Stonewall, I have no problem with the National Association for the Advancement of White People, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the National Association for the Advancement of Orientals, Hispanics. That's fine. Everyone wants to advance themselves good. How about let's having a National Association for the Advancement of America? Why don't you join? <laughs> but you see, people... People like America, this. That is a doornail the way you see it. You're still looking at the conservative motherhood apple pie. That was gone a long time ago when we went off to war and got our people killed by the millions. America died a long time ago, the America you're talking then, about. Sir, if America, people like if America dies, Stonewall, if America died, it's the dead carcass is always eaten upon by maggots, and you're a maggot. <laughs> the parasite. The media is the parasite. Mm -hmm. Maggots like this have been locked out of American system because of the fact that of, of their philosophy. Uh, now, they have no other way to go but to try to separate us as uh, Americans. You, you see, he was the American, power structure... He said he's a black the power activist. Structure, you said he's an American activist. The power structure realizes is that his, this is just a maggot. If he's a so black he's been locked activist, out of the white that's power fine structure. with me. He's been locked out of the white power structure. So the small, the few small-minded whites in America who feel the way he feels have been disenfranchised because us as Americans understand what they're all about. I'm telling you. So in order well, for them, there's something. a white We're gonna civil take a break. war going We're going to take a break because the white civil war, war, and it's being fought by a few guys like you, all right? Yeah. You're going to lose. Yeah. You're going to lose. Oh, Next, no. we're going to ask these white supremacists why they think they're so superior. I think most of us agree. They're scum. <laughs> Let me introduce some more folks. Let me introduce some more folks who are joining us at home base. Rabbi Rosenberg is with us tonight. And we'll just, we'll just call Rabbi Rosenberg a humanitarian, because indeed he is. We've also got at loudmouth number one, Carl Strait of the Aryan Youth Movement. You feel like a tough war skin? See? Oh, I do my job. Why don't you take a walk down 125th Street, baby? I will. With you with me. Let me also introduce the loudmouth too, George Holmes, with the Immigration Services of Congress of Racial Equality. 
morning. Let's start with Carl. Let me start with Carl here. Carl, you remember what you call the White Aryan Race Resistance Organization, all right? War skin. Just what is it you're resisting? What's the point? And what's your organization do? We believe in uh, separation of the races for the survival. Black and white separate. That's what we believe in. So when you and say black and white separate, do you mean black and white? Do you mean white separate from blacks, from orientals, from Hispanics? Well, Move all those other things. No Move orientals. all those other no, right? No. Or Jews, like this one. Or here. Jews. Oh, oh, like this one. Aren't you, the guy, aren't you the guy who teaches them how to self-defense yeah, and all right. that? You're the tough guy, right? That's right. Your job, your job, but you're telling me, and it's telling you got your hair cut since I saw yeah. you last time, yeah. huh? You try to look more, more the part, right? Yeah. What is this on your on your hand? Rings. Rings with uh, little things so you can Spikes. cut people up, huh? Yeah. You think those are any good when some guy knees you in the nuts? I don't know. Sometimes. All right, more. What's, your be what's your organization? What's your organization all about? Uh. <laughs> That's a good one. What's your organization all about? You say separation of rights for white life. people. Mm -hmm. Rights for white people. We don't want this to be a nation of Jews. They're a fan of this guy. You know, two things I notice now. Two of the leading proponents of this, knowing they're in Harlem, are kind of separating out blacks, and you're now going with, as you say, Jews, right? We aren't in Greenwich Village, and we aren't in a synagogue. So you're copping out. You're a little nervous, aren't you? A little nervous? Well, look, I want to tell you something. We're growing all over the United States. It's too late to stop us now, and even the feds know it. It's too late. Too late. Too late to stop you now. George, George, let me ask you, what do you make of creeps like this and their little racist organization? They're growing. They're probably up to 10 members. Well, more, <laughs> more, more, the message I have for this idiot over here and for the stage is very simple. It's very simple. We've heard about some of the attacks that they have made on black people. What? Young black kids, old black women. <coughs> I'm going to say to you, out of respect for your show, we might let them out of Harlem today. But we're going to, but we're, we're going to invite them back. We're going to invite them back. All right. We're you going to invite them back to make the same threats against the black people that he's made when he was by himself in some little cage that he came out of. We're going to invite you back to Harlem we, without more protection. We've never, we want we've you never attacked anybody over you that. Threat you know that's a bunch of Jewish Harlem garbage. Because you we will get your, you, you will send anybody. you back. We'll send you back, all right. We we never never have. Have. That's a damn you never have. Have. We never have. Why you you're lucky. Me? You're lucky you're here at Morse Invitation, brother, or you would not get out of Harlem today. Oh, I'm picking my two minutes. Outside, you would not go home today. Why don't you join the crib? Let me talk. Come like this. What's what's the given his name? What is it? What is it? Roy Anderson. Roy Anderson ran away from this man at the Hilton Hotel. Exhibit, exhibit if, Ennis ran, if Ennis ran away Anderson from him, it's because he didn't want to kill him. <laughs> Come I tell you what, Anderson had seven or eight people with him, and he ran. Come like this does nothing. Come like this. Come like this sets no fear. Come like this put no fear. Shut up, you're rude also. Come like this. Come like this puts no fear in the hearts of blacks because we struggle all of our lives. I see we but what the, what the show. scum like this does, it makes it difficult for the hard, honest white person in America oh. who does not visualize things the way you do. That's who you make it difficult for. Because, because then you allow... Let me introduce, let me introduce Rabbi uh, Rosenberg. Rabbi, you've... Uh, Rosenberg. Every Thursday, I'm a coach, I stand. 
Pearl comes from one grain of sand, sir. What do you come from? One piece of... <laughs> I don't use that terminology. Let me... Actually, I'm a nice guy once you get to know me. Let me go to Rabbi Rosenberg. Incidentally, his synagogue was uh, recently desecrated. Rabbi, I don't know if it was by people like this or who. Well, you know, Stonewall and I have been involved in uh, many, many humanitarian uh, acts over many, many years, and we're very close friends. Mm -hmm. As far as any attack you have on the Jewish people, I'm happy to tell you that we now have Jewish power. We're not afraid of any of you. Are you leading the Jewish defense right now? Leading the Jewish Defense League against anybody that attacks Israel, is that your thing, Rabbi? I tell you, you what I would like to the do. the Jewish Defense League, don't you? Yeah, we smashed them in L.A. We beat the living hell out of them. You walked out of the street and you're leader. Ruben ran out the door. Out of you, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't they? Okay. I say, you walked down the street in San Francisco shortly after doing my show, and they beat the out of you, didn't they? Hey, we had a big white, white, white uh, pride march in San Francisco. We did march in San Francisco. How come the state of Israel is allied with South Africa if you love the blacks so much? You know if what you I'd love like the to do? So much, what about being allied with South Africa? You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to call upon a dear gentleman, a dear friend of mine who you just attacked, Roy Ennis, for the two of us to start a national coalition against all these people and to have blacks and Jews on a national level coincide against hate mongers such as yourself. <laughs> I never attacked Ori Re Roy Ennis, you What are you talking about? You can't about? even speak correctly. Do you admit that to... your friends in Israel are allied with South Africa? What do you tell black people about that? Well, 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 let's, hear, well let's, let's, let's hear how do you handle let, that. Let's, let's see how we handle it. Also, there are African countries, black African countries, who are purchasing arms from uh, South Africa. So some of the, some, we, some, some of, uh, some of our, some, some of our dealings are, are purely financial and not all racial. Uh, Why are you running gun for this man over no. here? He's robbing a black and a white too. I'll be happy to answer his question. Black for black, well, black for uh, black for black pride. That's what this, I believe in. This, this is so black typical. determination. This is so typical of the media and of these types of people, all right? Try and get the blacks and the my whites going at that. each other. Eliminate all the I other was, issues. Was, was, this is the bullshit we've had to put up with for 40 years of liberal rule in this country, and you're part of the problem. We're going to be back. We'll talk about the next generation of hate, the Aryan youth. Join us. The thing we have to watch out for is we have to watch out for this type of thinking permeating the youth, all right? And that's exactly what Tom's doing. You're not just satisfied with middle-aged bigotry and stupidity and hatred. You're teaching the young to hate with the Aryan youth movement. How do you justify that? I mean, can you? That's your a decade. Kid. Your own kid. You call it hatred. I call it love. We're getting the youth, white youth of America. We love our race, and we love it enough that we're willing to die for it if we need to. That's what we're doing you're across this country. This summer, to we'll have a national coalition meeting. The Euro-Caucasian Provisional Government in this country, the war started in 1984 when Robert J. Matthews and the Order declared war on the system in Washington, and we support that declaration of war today. We're not here to convince necessarily anybody, because what's going to happen is going to happen. How many members do you have? And these people How many better get out have? of the way. How many members do you have? How many members? Thousands of them all thousands. across the country. Thousands. Yes. Of the right you think, kind. The right, the right kind. And you think thousands of wimps like you two guys are going to crush us? Huh? If you we'll know the, pre if you know like the pressure piece points, piece if you know the pressure points, the thousands will do it. Let me go back to Carl a second. Carl, the last time you were here, you said you trained kids in deadly force. That's right. Who do you want them to kill? Huh? No, I just want to protect ourselves. We don't fight unless we're attacked first. We've been attacked many times in the street. 
Was that kid? Was that kid who We've tried? We've been attacked many times in the street. Okay, was that kid who tried to get out of your organization, who was found nailed to a board? Was that not attacking? You didn't do that, right? No, of no. course not. You guys didn't nail a of member of yours who tried to get out. That was Greg Withrow. I didn't attack him. He, I never you attacked Greg Withrow. You did not crucify Withrow. him and nail him. But to he a board. lied on me on the Phil Down and Donahue show. He lied about it. Oh, right? he sure did. Yeah. They protect white youth. They protect white womanhood. And they protect white people who want to be protected. If anybody goes against them on the street, they're going to get smashed. But isn't this the gentleman <laughs> that had, had his philosophy smashed in California? Boy, well, I'm boy, boy isn't that. this the it's same gentleman like that had his philosophy shoved up his rear end in California on the street? Yeah. yeah boy, yeah. you're just showing your ignorance. Rabbi, no, Rabbi, I want the rabbi to answer questions. Because the question was asked by one of these gentlemen, what about Israel's alliance with South Africa? I think How do you explain that? Yeah. Let me hear it. Here, let's not waffle out of questions here. Hey, I'm not here to defend that, but I'll tell you one thing. Why, why? not? Give me a why. I'll tell you why. Because we have apartheid here in America. Let's clean out the problems here first. <laughs> and the other thing I've got to warn you all about. What a people like this. You're a Jewish Nazi is all you are. Well, you're an idiot. But people like you try to divide blacks and Jews. A Jew I'll tell you something. No one's afraid of you. You guys are silly. You're a bunch of idiots. And we can defend ourselves against you any day. Oh, yeah. Any I'm sure day. you can. I'm gonna yeah. tell you. Go attack. Go attack anybody that disagrees with Israel. That's all you've ever done. I, you I, and that. I, I how's your buddy be. Mordecai Levy doing? I think all of you would like to believe. I think, see, people like you who spread hatred would like for uh, blacks in this audience and across America to feel that all Jews are in agreement with South African policy. You should that, listen to Louis that, Farrakhan. That, what is, that, Louis that, Farrakhan is, is wrong. a good bad black leader. He told you the same thing. That just is wrong. That, well, I was there. That's I just was wrong at rally in L.A. That's just as wrong as your, 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 your position. If we wanted to be fair about the dealings with, in South Africa, uh, then we as blacks should also address the black countries who are purchasing arms from South Africa. What, about, if, what, if, what do you think? Let me ask country? you something. What do you which, think of what Louis which, Farrakhan said which, about the Jews? Which black country? Which uh, black country? What's the, what's the we're warring country? Um, the, uh, the, the last country, I, I, it, it, it loses me right now. Do you believe um, you're in the question about Louis Farrakhan? He wants to answer your I question about your Farrakhan. Question. Let me Louis hear. Farrakhan is Hitler revisited. And the same thing that happened to Hitler should happen to him. He just Hitler committed suicide. Hitler created a lot of great jobs for the German people. He brought the German, German economy up. And so Farrakhan. That's right. Leave Farrakhan alone. Then we should, Farrakhan exactly. He joined Hitler in a bunker and he should be dead. We Jews and we blacks. Bring your hatred out, Jew. Bring your hatred out, Jew. We do, do we black? We do. Make fear yourself. This is the end of free speech and social justice. This one right here. They play both sides of the street. I want to get from Carl and from Tom. I want to get something straight from you guys, all right? I really want to try to understand your twisted minds, guys. Give me a short list of your heroes and your favorites in American history. Short list. Charles Let me hear from Lindbergh, you first. Jr., who said our bond with Europe is a bond of race. The white race is ever attacked. We should go to its defense with every plane in the sky and every ship in the sea. That was Charles Lindbergh. All right, who's your other hero? Well, we, we have uh, William Jennings Bryan, Eugene, De Eugene Debs of the great white labor movement yeah, in this country. Hitler? He's your main hero. Hitler did a lot of good for a lot of people. And you Jews, if you could have got a hold of that, you'd have run that too. And he was have. just like and you. Let me hear from Carl who some of your heroes are. Who are some of your heroes? Some of my heroes are yeah. people like Frank Silva, David Tate, uh, Robert J. Matthews, the people of the order. Those were my heroes. Right on. Right on. Sir, let me hear. Here's the gentleman. Yeah, and Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler's is the hero of yours? Yeah. Adolf Hitler's the yeah. hero of yours? I think that's what I said, yeah. You have no idea how many whites he killed, too, do you? There, there, there were people, all people were killed. But so they only cried for the Jews. They built big monuments much to the Jews. You'd think they were the only people that ever got no, killed. No, no. We cry for the Christians and for the Jews. Oh, I never heard you cry for the Christians once. 70 million. I have only six million. million on behalf of Christians who perished also. There were many Christians who gave their lives on behalf of Jews. There's people million. like you who want all of humanity dead. I want you out of this. Country. You're a parasite.
Continue to be a nation of all people, or we're going to be uniting by separating. Let's find out when we come back in the next segment. come please to uh, George again if you don't mind uh, George Holmes when we talk about people getting along with each other it brings up immigration all right you're familiar with that is our is our virtual open border policy helping or hurting all of the Americans who live here now well more it can do anything but hurt it's got to help this country was founded on people coming from all over the world from Africa from the Caribbean from Europe from Asia, and they well, came together. They, found, uh, they came together in slave ships, baby. They came together. They came different ways, but we got to understand something. This country was built on the backbone of the immigrants. We've got to allow those people who want to come to this country, who want to build, and we've got to allow them to come in, and we've got to give them the status they need to succeed right, well, here. And, and more, before, well, before let me you ask go... Your question. Let me ask you a question, Carl. That's all well and good. We have an open border so that Mexico can pour across. We have an open border so San Salvador, so all of these Hispanic nations can come across. And I think that's great that we all live together. How about opening them up so my Irish can come across, all right? 275,000. 275,000 illegal Irish in this country, and they want to boot their ass out. I want them here, too. Well, Moy, that, that's a misconception. That's a misconception because the fact is that the borders are open for Europeans to come in no, whenever they want. No, it's the not. Africans and the Caribbeans who are having problems coming in. That's where, that's where immigration needs to open up its borders to, the, to, the, to our brothers and sisters from Africa, from the Caribbean, and from the third world countries. That's the immigration policy that this country needs to develop. All right. Well, I like to. I like to. Uh, Look, let me tell you I like let to. Let me hear from John. Let me hear from John. Look, the first ones that get hurt are the blacks with immigrants. Are you kidding? We come from California. The Mexicans swarm across the border. I don't need you anything I say or do. All right. Let me tell you Listen, something. Don't, don't, don't try black to union, it was, The largest use black that word unity very specifically. In, in what you're saying. Because I'm not afraid of you. I know where you're coming from. You I can deal with. You I can deal with because I know where you're coming from. It's the folks who hide in the closet, the ones that we got to worry about. You I can deal with. I'm not afraid of you. I can walk down the street with you any day, and I'm not afraid of you because if you step on my toes, you're going to hit the pavement. That's the bottom line. It's the only folks that I'm worried about. 
And it's the people who set the you policies don't in this country don't worry about. You don't set the man. Let me hear things go on. I'd like to address the uh, gentleman there. I'd like to address the, your, uh, uh, your statement. You said before that blacks in the, in the South are, 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 are achieving, and I agree with you. Uh, that's one of the problems with the Northern black, and a lot of that is within us. We, we have not bought that from the South here. Once we came to the North, we seem to have forgotten that what we need is not to wait for whites to do something for us, but to do something for ourselves. We tend we tend to want to lose ourselves in an integrative structure or to be accepted under unequal levels. We would want low-income housing in middle-class neighborhoods on an unequal basis to have our heads rubbed. We forget that we need entrepreneurship, uh, political upper mobility, and economic upper mobility. Right. And forget about that na nonsense that's that all. you are not and one other thing. Thing. And so and that's one other thing. You worry too much. You worry too much about Sorry. guys like this, me, or anyone else telling the black community who their leaders I should be. The Let them pick them themselves. Some like this, I'm we don't just worry talking about. about the same people there's, who are screwing there's, up. There's some like this we don't worry about, but the also liberal we like should wor we should worry about. So those are the ones that are misleading us. I guess what it really boils down to. This is what I'm right here. I guess what it really boils down to. I'm just giving you guys a free tip. Why don't you listen? Well, I'm going to tell you something. 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 Well, Let's, I promise this gentleman, he was first up to bat. Loudmouth one, sir, your name. Okay. I just want to make it clear Let that I have... Let me have the microphone on down here, please. Go I ahead. just want to make it clear that I have nothing to do with this gentleman over here, for the audience, <laughs> firstly. Secondly, uh, the rabbi has continually skated on a question from the audience, and I'd like to present the question for the brother that asked the question. Uh, in terms of Israel, they have had a, given a lot of support to South Africa in terms of arms and shipments, et cetera, et cetera. You have not addressed that question as to why Israel is doing that. Secondly, I heard you make a statement that uh, you cried for the Jews and for the Christians. How about all the black people who are still dying in South Africa? What is your comment? Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I think the question was a very good one. I don't represent the state of Israel. I can't answer for the state of Israel. What I can answer for... Do you approve of their... I don't the approve South of any situation where humanity is made any less than being human. That's my personal feeling. As far as why... As far as why... As far as why we don't cry or do cry out for our black brethren, I'll tell you something. You don't need me to cry out for you. You have leaders who can take care of yourselves very well. You don't need me. Second of all, any do you humanitarian cry? worth his throat will speak on behalf of blacks, on behalf of Jews, on behalf of Orientals, on behalf of all humanity. Because when a Hitler goes after someone such as these people, they go after the entire human race and try to destroy anyone. When he was playing the fiddle, it reminded me of the concentration camp when they brought Jews and non-Jews to the crematorium and they played the fiddle. We have to unite together on behalf of humanity. Do you? I'm going to ask the question. I'm going to tell you Zip it. You want shock through. I'm going to ask the question one more time. Are you upset with the fact that Israel trades with an apartheid, suppressive nation 
like South Africa, yes or no? I personally am yes or no. no. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Go ahead, sir. The synagogue support Israel. Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're going to do about it. What have I done about it? I spent my entire career on behalf of peace and humanity. That's what I'm going to do about it. That's why I am in shows like this. That's why I work with Stonewall. That's why I go against idiots like this. Because the matter is Israel. Because the matter is Israel. Uh, I will say the rabbi has stood up. I want you two aliens to ask me, what do you think we're going to be doing as a human race if you come around spreading your racist propaganda? What do you think we're going to be doing to defend ourselves? You come crazy, you're going to kill us? Kill our babies? Kill our babies, etc. We got a white civil war going on. It's between white, black, and other We got a civil war going on. We're still fighting. We're coming to white civil war. This way. In this country. This way. That's what it is. An elite against the elite and a Jew. Why? Oh, that's a Jew. Elite and a Jew. Why were you were just as though you were hanging us like rabbits? European non semi people, that's why. I understand that. You say you say we people are white. Look, come to the table if you want to eat. We'll sit down and discuss it on a national level. Yeah, well, I want to eat food. I don't want my food poisoned. If you understand what I'm saying. Come to the table, you won't be able to eat. I've been offered, I've offered. These are the same type of people that want you all dead. Yeah. Let me, say something. Now, let me tell you something, Carl. All right. I went the day before yesterday to a rally that was supposed to be held. The media blurted it out all over the place of the Ku Klux Klan in Valley big, Forge, Pennsylvania. There were 15 jerks and starched white sheets, all right, <laughs> who probably who probably had nothing but wet dreams in those starch white sheets. And there were 200, 200 people from the media who were able to get other people down there to watch. I went down there, spit in the guy's face, and every white and black person there left and left that scum alone with the media. And you're the type of scum, you're the type of scum. Came across to get in. There are a whole bunch of white people brought through the line to join. I have never, I have never, I, let me hear you. I, I, I don't have a sheet. Let me hear you. I was going to say, I have never come to black. I would not go out and poison their food. It's not my fault what happened two, uh, 100 years ago. I'm talking about right now. It's I don't know what right happened now. 100 years ago. It's happening right now, pal. No, we're not out of hanging yeah. black. Let, Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let you zip. This is the audience. Hey, you zip. Thank you, Morton. Thank you, Morton. Thank you. My name is Paul Merrill, and I just want to say one thing to this man right here. You said white media, fella, look around. You, you, with the wig, with the rug. You, all right? You had. No, no. I you. That from him. You. I bought right. that. You had the nerve you to tell someone down in white media. Hey, fella, look around, buddy. We got multicolor here, all right? <laughs> That's number one. And you. You. You dirty son of a bitch, all right? <laughs> Let me tell you something, all right? Let me tell you something. How come down south you wear the sheets, man? Up in Harlem, you don't. And I, for one, feel offended with the flag on your jacket with the KKK abide by. And I want it off. 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 Take the flag off. You're in Harlem, buddy. Take it off. That is the KKK flag. I'm not going to take it off. Take it off, man. You're in Harlem, buddy. That's right. Give I go in where I want to go. Respect. Uh, take I the, the flag off, off buddy. No, no I swear. Because right, right right you ain't got the there. sheets, buddy, but your colors are showing. I don't wear the sheets. Come back. I'm not in the clan. Again. Stay with us. Right. Come on. that are instilling vicious and heinous ideas in today's Coming news. from you, I'll accept that as a compliment. And you're a sick man. You are burning. Oh, you are burning. You are burning. I'm a Jew and I'm proud of it. And it's vicious people like you that are giving the Jewish race and the blacks a bad name. Hey, you're burning on your stuff and it's coming home to roost to you. It's coming home to roost. You're burning on yourself and it's coming home to roost. Oh, yeah? You Nazi bastard. You should be shot. Well, you tell me what you want. You can tell me what you want. Six million Jews died in World There's War II. You're the face bastards. of Jew we like to see. You're the face of Jew we like to see. Wait a minute. You're wait, typical wait, of your I'm race. Not, wait, I'm 
I'm just want separation. That's all. It says all men, all men are created uh -oh. equal. All you, men. You're against Wait. freedom of speech. Wait. All men are created equal. Are those men only those who fit into your mold? I'm not talking about okay. equal or not. I'm talking about separation for the survival of the black and the white race. Oh, you're burning. You are Don't burning. you want to survive? You should be shot. Let me hear this gentleman. Let me hear this gentleman. Sir, sir, can you step up there. Uh, directed to you, scumbag, and this lizard face. I want to know why you said y'all in war fighting when we, the brother, was down in the front line getting killed in Vietnam, huh, bitch? And this mother yeah. Hey, I would like to see that. Right now. You ready? You ain't no You ain't no balcony. Up to the balcony. Up to the balcony. Up to the balcony. Go ahead, sir. I want to go up here. Very, very fortunate black person. Yeah, I don't know I've been in war. You're very fortunate. What about you? You ain't got nothing. Rabbi, let me hear this gentleman. I'd like to know what about uh, a Jewish racism in Borough Park, where the, uh, where the Jewish kids spit on the Gentiles and, and say goy and they uh, want to buy a house, and, and, and the, the guy from Israel says, says the real estate woman, I'll kill you. And the chief, chief rabbi of Lubavitch's in the Hanukkah message in the paper says, uh, love of your uh, fellow Jew is uh, one of the most important things, but nothing about love of your fellow person. We should love everybody, not, not just uh, Jews over Jews over here. No. Oh, we got on the stand. Hey, pal. Hey, hey. You gotta listen and understand. All Jews aren't great. All That's whites right. aren't great. All blacks aren't great. That's right. None of us are all great. There's a bunch of kiss asses out there. Don't worry You're about right. that. You're right. Worry about the masses. On our next show, give it. You shut up. You shut up. And our next show, tomorrow night, also from the Apollo Theater, we have coming up a solution to racial problems. Listen to this. Separatism. Tomorrow night from the Apollo, we'll have Robert Brock. Would you step forward, Robert, who is a black separatist? And we'll have, we'll have Daniel Johnson, who is a white separatist. And looking at these gentlemen, I can damn well understand why they want to be separate. Look, pal, it's very simple. There's no place in this world for people who hate, particularly people who have no other reason other than the color of someone's skin. I hope we've exposed some of these jerks. He swept everything under that rug. Uh -huh. Now, let's get them the hell out of the building, give them a 10-second head start down 125th Street. Good night, everybody.